blood. Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and these are updates coming from London and I've got some Birmingham news coming up in the next hour or two. But the first story I'm going to cover is a story that broke on Monday, the 7th of March. This is in Hackney and there's been a lot of different incidents that I'm going to talk about in a second in Hackney in the past week in relation to police raids. But video footage was circulating on Snapchat and it was posted by my London newspaper and it shows youths fighting in the street and a gunshot can be heard in the video footage. The official police statement from the Metropolitan Police says detectives are investigating after a shooting in Hackney. Police were called at 1.30 on on Monday the 7th of March to Gilpin Road following reports of a group of teenagers fighting with knives and a firearm was discharged. The London Ambulance Service and police attended the scene and males had left shortly after but 10 minutes later police were alerted to a 17 year old boy who was wounded in Belgrade Road, Hackney and he was taken to hospital with his injuries that were assessed as non-life threatening. Both of the incidents have been treated as linked by the police and three males aged 17 and 18 were arrested on suspicion of violent disorder and they still remain in police custody. The investigation is being led by the Trident Specialist Crime Team and Detective Inspector Matthew Webb said in a statement that our investigation is in the early stages and we are keen to hear from anybody who has not yet spoken to the police. The shooting occurred in the middle of the day in a busy residential street. I'll definitely keep you updated on anything in relation to that story. And in some other news staying in Hackney, a big story on the website this week is about 42 arrests in relation to a county line's drug gang. The police also seized £200,000 when they did the series of raids on the 1st and 3rd of March this year. The offences that was arrested for were cocaine possession and MDMA. Over a kilo of Class A drugs were seized during during the raids. 10 watches that were valued at more than £10,000 were also confiscated and all of those arrested the police believe played a role in the gang at various levels and it was based in East London but operated in Essex and also Sussex. The investigation was part of Operation Continuum and it is an intelligence led operation established in response to the ongoing drug dealing and reports of criminality in the area by the locals. They said that this gang they believe is responsible for several shootings that occurred in 2020. And it's part of an ongoing operation to combat gangs and guns operating in the capital. And I'll definitely keep you updated on anything to do with that story. In some news coming from central London, a fire hit a high-rise building and a woman was rescued from the 17th floor. It was reported by Reuters news agency. Thank you to Subskate for allowing me to use his footage from the actual incident as well. You understand? That? How I'm wrong? The fire broke out on Monday afternoon and a woman was trapped inside the building. A hundred firefighters tackled the blaze on Whitechapel High Street before it became controlled and they rescued the woman. Flames were pouring out of the building and smoke spread across the capital skyline. There was over 50 calls in the very early stages and the cause of the fire is yet to be determined. And the video footage shows glass exploding and debris falling to the ground. Luckily nobody was seriously injured in this incident and I'll definitely let you know when the fire service find out what started it. So that is a very brief update from incidents that have occurred around London and I've got another London episode being uploaded very shortly. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and follow me online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. Peace.